Hi, I'm going to show you how to reflash your Wi-Fi pineapple if you messed it up or enabled DHCP and lost it or you really messed up the settings. So first of all, we're going to need the Wi-Fi pineapple flashing tools and the files that come with it. To get them, open up your browser and go to twitterfisher.com. forward slash build tack pineapple dot zip and it will download the necessary tools in a zip and it will put it in your downloads folder or wherever you've put your designated place so we're going to open up uh, Windows Explorer and we're going to head to our downloads folder and we can see here's the build pineapple we're going to extract all of it and we're going to open it up here are the flashing tools here's the wireless config commands and all that stuff now second of all you're going to need putty so we'll go back in our browser and google putty and go to their official download page and we'll go to Downloads, and we'll download here Putty for Windows on Intel x86, so we'll click on that. Once you've got that, we're going to download WinSCP. You can Google that and go to their official page, winscp.net, and we're going to download their latest version. So we're going to go to the download page, and it's, uh, we're going to do portable executable instead of installing. It's a lot easier. It's one less step. So we'll wait for that to download. Once that's uh, down done downloading, we're going to extract it. So back in the downloads folder, we're going to extract WinSCP. And there we go. Portable version of WinSCP. We've got the necessary files to rebuild the pineapple. This is for the pineapple version 2 or Mark 2. This will not work on the original Wi-Fi pineapple or the Wi-Fi pineapple Mark 3 or version 3. This is the version 2 Wi-Fi pineapple. So once you've got all of that downloaded, we're going to do go into the build pineapple folder and we're going to run this AP51 flash GUI so have your Wi-Fi pineapple plugged in and before we do that we have to change the uh, settings in Windows 7 so we can connect to it you need to go to your network and sharing center and you need to go to change adapter settings right click on your ethernet whichever is your ethernet and properties and we're going to click on IPv4 and properties we're going to need to use the following IP address 192.168.1.100 and the subnet mask is going to be 255.255.255 and then click OK close and there we go once we have that done, we'll plug in our Wi-Fi pineapple via Ethernet and power it up. Okay, it looks like we're connected to it. So we're going to open up the Flash GUI. And we're going to use the external file, which is right in here. We're going to browse for it. Browse to the uh, Wi-Fi Pineapple folder and look for OpenWRT Atheros root. Open. And check mark the kernel. Use external file. And open OpenWRT Atheros VM Linux.LZMA. And you're going to select your interface, which you're via flashing, which would be my Ethernet interface, which is JMicron. 
So what first we're going to do is we're going to unplug the pineapple now that we know it's uh, working and we're going to click go and right away you're going to want to plug the Wi-Fi pineapple's power back in and it should see it there we go and there we go it's starting to flash the Wi-Fi pineapple and it's sending the files to rebuild the file system on it and once it's done this should close out on its own. It may take a couple of minutes, but don't worry if this disappears and you come back. Um, it'll be closed out automatically. So I'm going to pause the video and then come back when it's done. Now uh, the uh, Flash GUI just closed out. And now we're going to go in Command Prompt to see when it's up and running. So we're going to open up CMD and we're going to ping... 192.168.1.1 and attack T and to do that to see if we're going to get a reply from our Wi-Fi pineapple okay there we go we're getting replies from it to see if it's up and running now that we know it's up and running we are going to telnet using putty to change the password so We'll go back to Putty, which you downloaded earlier. We're going to run that. And we're going to type in the IP address of your Wi-Fi pineapple. And we're going to Telnet onto it. And you should see this prompt, open WRT. What we're going to type in is P-A-S-S-W-D. And it's going to ask us to change, uh, put a new password on it. I would suggest putting a strong password on it. Okay, I entered my password in for my Wi-Fi pineapple. And once you're done with that, we're going to SSH into it using PuTTY again to configure it a little bit so we can close out. And we're going to open it up again. We're going to type in the IP address again. And we're going to SSH right here into the Wi-Fi Pineapple. And you'll get a potential warning. This is just blah, 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 blah. I've never connected to it before. But since we know it's our Wi-Fi pineapple, we'll click yes. And it's going to say log in as, we're going to log in as root. And enter your password that you just did, entered before. And there we go. We are in the Wi-Fi pineapple via SSH. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go to the build pineapple and it should be a text file saying wireless config commands. You're just going to copy and paste each line and enter it into this terminal here. You're going to right click and it should paste it and then enter. And then just do the next line. Right click, enter and just keep on going through it. And I'm just going to pause the video so you don't see me copy and pasting a whole bunch of times. As you can see, I am uh, just copying and pasted everything into this SSH terminal, as you can see here, one line at a time, and then click Enter. And I just did the last one. So what we're going to do next is we're going to have to put some packages on here um, for added functionality. We're going to need the WebF interface and Hasserl. So that's included in the Wi-Fi Pineapple um, folder that we just downloaded and extracted. So we're going to leave this PuTTY SSH terminal running. And we're going to go back, go to Win SCP that we just downloaded, and we're going to run the application.
Okay, the host name is going to be your Wi-Fi Pineapple's IP address. 192.168.1.1. Okay, we're going to leave the port number. We're going to put the username as root and the password that you entered in before in the Telnet terminal. Okay, we're going to do SCP into it, and you should be good to go. So we'll log in, and uh, just click yes if you have any errors. Yes, and you'll come up with two errors, a group and a PSW, PWD. You just click OK on it, and there we go. We are in the Wi-Fi Pineapple. This right side is files and directory structure of the Wi-Fi Pineapple. And the left side is the files and directories of your computer. So what we're going to do is going to go back to the Wi-Fi Pineapple folder, build pineapple that we downloaded, and we're going to copy over, drag and drop the WebF, and drag it right into here, and we're going to click Copy, and wait for it to copy. It's a little slow, but then we'll drag and drop the Hasserl package, and we'll copy that. And there we go. It's copied over to the root directory. So we can uh, close this out. We don't need it running anymore. Um, okay, we'll close it out. And we're going to go back to our PuTTY SSH terminal. And you're going to type in ls to find the directories or whatever to list them. And you can see there is the Hasserl and the WebF. So what we're going to do is we're going to do op kg space install. We're going to do the star above the 8 key. The number 8 key has a star on your standard US keyboard. Dot I P K. This is going to look for any file name right here and it's going to install the IPK file, the package. So we're going to run that and it will start to install and configure that on the Wi Fi Pineapple. I'm going to pause it so we're not um, uh, waiting uh, for a while. It may take a while. Okay, we're back now, and it just installed and configured these two packages, and it looks like it um, uh, restarted the pineapple. Let's see. Um, uh, you're going to have to do a reset or clear your old um, cache files. If you opened up in your browser, you may have to do a clear it out, and um, uh, it says it was a success. So what we can do is type in, I believe, reboot. Okay, and close out. And there we go. Uh, the Wi-Fi pineapple is restarting, and if that doesn't work, you can just unplug it and plug it back in. So what we're going to do next is we're going to see if the Wi-Fi Pineapple is up and running. So we're going to download uh, Run Command Prompt, and we're going to ping the IP address of the Wi-Fi Pineapple with the TAC T so it continually ping it and wait for a reply. And it looks like it's up and running.
So we're going to see if the WebF interface is up and running. So we're going to enter the IP address of the Wi-Fi Pineapple in the browser and enter. And it will ask you for your username, which is root, and your password you entered in earlier before. And login. And there you go. Your uh, Wi-Fi pineapple seems to be up and running. You can change settings in here. Also, let's check if um, uh, Karma is running, I believe. We'll do the same thing. And we're going to add a colon with port 1471. And you're going to enter ROOT root as your username and your password you entered in before. And it looks like Yazaga, Karma on the Fawn, is up and running. And there you go. That's how to reflash your Wi-Fi pineapple.